Hi everyone and welcome to our channel where we talk about Power BI. We continue learning about the basic DAX functions and in this video we will look at the most important function in DAX that is calculate. Calculate is the most powerful and essential function in DAX and it's used to change the context in which a calculation is performed by applying filters. In simple words, Calculate lets you control which data is included in your calculations. Now let me show you a few examples to help you explain the logic behind the Calculate function. I created a measure called Audio Sales. Let's take a look at the syntax here. It has two parts. The first part right here is the calculation. It's the actual calculation that I want to do. The second part of the formula is applied filter. You can have more than one filter. You can have many filters, okay? But uh, let's focus just on one filter at this point. So what I'm doing here is I am summing the sales amount, but only for specific product category, which is audio. And when I put my measure audio sales in my table, right here I have the audio sales for everything. If I go ahead and change this here, for example, for computers, then this number is going to be for computers. Let me change the name of it too. All right, so another thing about calculate is that in the first part of the formula, in the calculation part, you can either create a measure, so you can do a calculation like I did here. I used the sum function, and then I calculated the sum before filtering. Or, if you already have a measure, an existing measure, then you can put that measure inside the calculate function. Instead of sum, what I can do is I can put sales, I can put the name of a measure. And that's going to be the same thing. So what else I can do? I can add additional filter. Uh, right here I can go, for example, year. So date year will be equal to, let's say, 2015. I am filtering my calculation by two filters, by computers and by year 2015. So when I commit to it, this number is going to change. And now if I add it, other years into my uh, into my table then I will have the year 2015 everywhere now this may seem a little bit confusing at this point and you you probably have a question now if I already have a regular one-to-many relationship between two tables and that means a visual is filtered by categories by default then what's the point of using calculate now, in this particular case, it may be redundant. You don't need to use calculate to calculate the total sales for computers because you have that number anyways. And that's a good question, right? But before I can answer this, uh, let me explain the whole point of calculate. Like I said, calculate overwrites filters applied by existing relationships. And that's why here you're saying all of the same numbers for product categories. However, there will be many situations when you would need to override existing filters so you can create custom calculations. For example, uh, let's calculate the percent of sales of each product category, or in other words, what is the percent of computers out of the total sales. Put 2015 here. Let's take a look at this. So I have a computer sales for 2015. So what I want to do is I'd like to understand what is the percent of computers compared to the total sales. I can roughly say that it's about 40%, but you know, let's see what the actual numbers are. To find out this percent calculation, I would have to do a two-step process. First, what I'm going to do, I will create a new measure and let's call this all total sales. And this is going to be, I'm using calculate, of course, and that's going to be total sales. Sorry, that's going to be sales. In the filter part of a formula, I'm going to use the function all and indicate the product category name. So what I'm doing here is I'm calculating all the sales and I'm using the function all, which overrides the filters and it will calculate the total of all sales regardless of the filters. 
and this is what I'm going to have. So if I add this to my table, let me remove the computer cells for now. And I have this total number for each category. The function all inside of a calculate is ignoring all of the existing filters. And I'm having, I have this number everywhere now. And now the second step would be to divide uh, this number by the total sales. So let me create another measure and I can name that percent of sales. I am dividing sales by the new measure all total sales. And if I add it to my table, this is what I get. Now I'm going to format this as a percent and this is going to give me a percent. I can go ahead and remove all total sales and have these measures displayed side by side. Another way to divide the two measures will be to use the function divide, which is actually a best practice. Here you have two parts, it's a numerator and denominator. I will put comma in here, and I'm dividing the sales by all total sales. All right, and I can have that, and obviously it's going to give me the same number. All right, so the calculate function is a fundamental function in Power BI that lets you control how your calculations are performed by modifying the filters applied to your data. Whether you need to calculate totals for specific categories or apply multiple conditions, Calculate enables you to customize your measures to build meaningful calculations. This was the introduction video to Calculate. In the next few videos, we'll continue looking at how we can use the calculate function to build more complex calculations. Thanks for watching this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.